This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Differencing disks are going to allow us to create a disk and then make it read only, so a virtual disk, make it read only, and then create a differencing disk for the changes that happen to that initial disk. So that initial disk is called the parent. That's the one we want to be read only. No changes are made to that. But when we connect it to a virtual machine and we try to make changes to it, any changes that are made are actually written to this differencing disk. So this is similar to a checkpoint with a virtual machine. It allows us to roll back to the original state of that virtual disk. The difference between a checkpoint is a checkpoint is used on the whole virtual machine. So all the disks in the virtual machine, the virtual machine itself, with a differencing disk, we can just use, well, a disk that we don't want changes to. But if we make changes to the virtual machine or other virtual disks that are connected to that virtual machine, those changes stay. But we can always roll back this virtual disk. And also, we can actually create multiple differencing disks with the same parent. This can save us a lot of disk space. We might have a scenario where uh, we have maybe a database, a pretty large database. We need developers to be able to modify that database, but we want each developer to be able to modify its own version of that database. Well, we could create copies of that database, or we could just create one parent disk that has that database on it and then create multiple differencing disks. And on the differencing disks, only the changes are written to it. So it's going to save us a lot of space if that database is really large. And we can also do this with uh, operating system drives. We'll see later on uh, a lot of uh, VDI or virtual desktop infrastructures use this type of uh, scenario where we have this one golden copy or golden template and we use differencing disks, so only the changes are written to those differencing disks, therefore saving us a lot of disk space. So let's see this in action here. I've got a temp drive 7 that's connected to my server 01. If we go to settings, we can see it here. So let's say this has the data on it that I need. If I go into the virtual machine server 01 and we go ahead and explore, so this got a bunch of fonts on it, and let's say it's it's taking up a lot of disk space, and maybe our developers, or we've got graphic designers or something like that, that need their own copy of these fonts that they can modify, but they're always going to need this base set of fonts. Well, if this base set of fonts is 30 gigs in size, and I make virtual disks for every graphic designer, let's say we have 20 of them, well, that's going to take up a lot of disk space. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this disk, this virtual disk, temp drive 7, the parent virtual disk that's going to be read only. And then I'm going to create differencing disks for all the different graphic designers. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down this server 01 real quick. Okay, it's shut down. Let's go ahead and go into the settings. And temporarily here, I'm just going to remove this temp drive 7. So I'll just click on remove and OK. Now let's go over here. So this isn't connected to the virtual machine anymore. And I'm going to right click, go to properties, and make this read only. This is just an extra step to make sure that nobody modifies this virtual disk. Now let's go back to our virtual machine. I'm actually going to edit the settings of it. And we're going to go to our SCSI controller, add a hard drive. And we're going to create a new one. Let's click Next. This time we're going to select Differencing. Click Next. And I'm going to call this one Temp Drive 7-1. So that way I know kind of Temp Drive 7 is going to be the parent, and this is the first Differencing disk. If I was going to create multiple the next one might be dash 2, and I would connect that probably to another virtual machine. Another one would be dash 3, connect to another virtual machine. We'll see that in a bit. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Now we're going to specify the virtual hard disk that we want to use as the parent. 
So let's go ahead and browse, and we want the temp drive 7 here to be the parent. So that has the read-only data, and then our changes are going to be written to that temp drive 7-1. So I'll go ahead and click Next, and Finish. And click OK. All right, let's go ahead and power this one on. Now I'll go ahead and log in. Let's go ahead and open up Disk Management. Now just expand it out. And you can see there's our E drive. So behind the scenes, it doesn't know anything happened. Can open up our E drive. It's got all of our fonts on it. But if I make changes to this, let's go ahead and actually look at the virtual hard disk files here. So what we've got is we've got temp drive 7, and then we've got our differencing disk. So this is the parent, this is the child. Any changes I make to that E drive within the virtual machine now are going to be written to this temp drive 7-1. But all the original data lies on the parent, temp drive 7. So right now temp drive 7-1 is about 36 megabytes. So let's go ahead and just copy some files over to it real quick. Just go to my C drive. Windows, and let's say I'm going to grab some other fonts, for example. I might go ahead and let me just select a couple. And I'll copy them. Let's go over to our E drive. And let's say I just create a new folder on here. Let's call it Fonts 2. I don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and paste them in. All right, let's go ahead and there it is, our temp drive 7-1. You can see the changes were all written to this drive or this virtual disk. But no changes are ever made to the parent. That's read only.